All right, and welcome back to the Rotan Bruce Show. I have a very uh, special and unusual guest on the show. This is a young lady that uh, that I've uh, come across on Facebook, and it's because of some terrific work that she's done. And actually, out of all the people that I know, this is the only lady that has returned from Haiti and has some things to talk about. Darcy DeMoss, thank you so much for being on the show. I really appreciate it. Well, thank you for having me. And Darcy, tell me, before we get really uh, too much into your trip to Haiti, tell me about you and your background. I know you and I share the entertainment industry together, and I uh, had a chance to uh, look up some of the things that you've done in your life and some of the movies that you've been in. Tell us a little bit about that, and then we'll get to the more serious stuff. Well, I started out as a dancer, and I was one of the aerobicized girls, and uh, I grew up, my best girlfriend being Helen Hunt, on her movie sets. I was uh. with her when, we were, when she was working, and um, I was really passionate about becoming an actress. And um, I've done about 20 films. I did a little film called Can't Buy Me Love with Dr. McDreamy, who's now on Gary's Anatomy, Patrick Dempsey, yes. and um, lots, of, lots of horror films, and um, I got quite a following from the Friday the 13th Part 6 that I did. I actually have the longest fight scene with Jason out of any of his victims. <laughs> so um, I've been um, working as an actress for 30 years, and uh, on, my, on one of my birthdays, a friend of mine had given me a, a camera, and I went on my first safari, and just started snapping away, as I'd always been behind the camera, I mean, in front, excuse me, in front of the camera, um, being behind, it was a whole other world. Well, I came back from the safari, and a lot of my friends looked at us and said, wow, you should blow these up and, um, you know, do something with them. So I blew them up, I put them in a book, and I marched into my first gallery, and the woman said, let's give you a show. Uh -huh. So I started exhibiting my photography, which was just such a, a treat, and I'm really, really passionate about it. So I've been on five safaris and um, documenting some of the most amazing wildlife on the planet, just having a great, great time. Wow. I, I'm a photographer also, and I got my best pictures blown up uh, over on Hollywood Boulevard or those shops there that do all that great photography work, those great blow-ups. Uh, I still have some of my stuff that I had uh, blown up in uh, in Hollywood there, and uh, I know how hard it is to uh, to be a successful photographer and to be acknowledged. So I give you a lot of credit for that. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Tell me about your most recent trip. You went to Haiti. Uh, what was it? Days I... days after the earthquake hit, were you there? Or? Yeah, I, I, yes, I was. Um, because of Facebook, I, I have a friend that um, I'd lost contact with, and her name is Donna Florio, and um, I, I knew her husband when we were children, John Florio, and we reconnected and we were corresponding on Facebook, and she works with World Harvest Missions, and uh, in Haiti, there it's, it's called New Life Children's Home, which is an orphanage that a woman named Miriam, Miriam Frederick, she's the founder and director, and um, she works with Dr. Steve Shoring. And they, they had invited me to come to, to go to Haiti because she had seen my photographs on my website. When, when I got the, the invitation, I was a little taken back. I wasn't quite sure if it was, you know, the right thing for me to go do or go and see. And, you know, I'd heard and seen, of course, all these horrific images on the television. So I uh, searched my soul and decided that the, it was really for me to go. And uh, we went into Haiti, and we were able to um, go into the, the hospitals that were right there uh, that they have set up in tents right off of the tarmac of the um, airport, which was just amazing. Um, the doctors from all over in the United Nations that were there, it's just um, astronomical how everybody has pulled together to, to help these people that need help so desperately. So that's how I came to go to Haiti, which was really something else. And tell me about what you saw. I mean, if you can give us, for people that uh, either can watch it on TV or can't watch it on TV, love to hear your first vision of it and uh, your perception of it. Well, it's absolutely horrifying. These people are living in just uh, god godly conditions. It's just, um, they're living like animals, basically. They're, they're, there's tent cities everywhere. 
um, because they can't go into the buildings. And we walked through town, and I, I felt like I was walking on a movie set. It didn't. It just was so surreal. It didn't. It didn't seem comparable, uh, comprehensible how these people are buried were buried alive in this earthquake, and and the, the smell was just, just just awful and and the people are very very upset with their government and you know they're not doing anything to help them so um they've kind of these people have banded together to form these tent cities that are just all over Haiti so um with that um walking through and documenting it you know, I, I I got some amazing coverage but it just was completely heart-wrenching for me personally I did some interviews with these men that uh, I didn't even understand what they were saying, but I just, tears were flying down my cheeks as I was videoing them because there were, no, nobody's there to listen to their story because these people just, they don't have a voice. 